A mighty wind blows off the coast of Rhode Island, and now for the first time, that energy is being harvested to light homes. Jerika Duncan went out there to take a closer look. It's awesome, isn't yeah, it? it is it's awesome. just spectacular. It's, it's the first of its kind in the U.S. 15 miles off the coast of Rhode Island, these 600-foot turbines stand, anchored in 90 feet of Atlantic waters. They're expected to generate enough energy to power 17,000 homes. Jeff Grabowski is the CEO of Deepwater Wind, which built the wind farm. We see offshore wind producing a lot of energy for the United States, particularly here on the East Coast in the Northeast, where the wind is really strong. These turbines will most benefit Block Island. Because of its location, 45 minutes by boat from the mainland, it currently gets its oil and gas shipped in. Residents pay a premium at peak times, nearly 60 cents per kilowatt, the wind farm is expected to cut that cost to about 24 cents. Hi. That's great news for 68-year-old Steve Draper. His family runs one of the oldest businesses on the island, the 1661 Inn. Our bill last year was somewhere around $200,000. You try everything to cut your cost, but it's a major factor in doing business here. While countries like Denmark have been using offshore wind farms since the early 90s, U.S.-based projects have been stalled due to court fights over environmental fears and protests over the turbines blocking beachfront views. It took a long time to get here. How long? It took us eight years to build this project. Other projects are in the works, potentially bringing 200 more wind turbines to the area within the next 10 years. Steve Draper expects people will get used to the new scenery. We all got used to telephone poles and telephone wires in our view shed, and they're not beautiful. A view of the future, powering the future. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, off the coast of Block Island.